Hey guys, Ironton Auditor here. Figured I would reach out today to say hello. Um, I have not been live in quite a while, which you all know. And, you know, there are a lot of reasons for that, of course. Life being the biggest one. Um, believe it or not, even I have one of those. I, I do live. <laughs> and uh, But anyway, um, just considering and thinking, as I always do about life. And, and I think most of you all know that... Uh, that originally, uh, when I started out, it wasn't really, you know, things took a different turn. I didn't expect things to end up where they did. Sorry, guys, I'm drinking a cup of coffee, too. You know that. Uh, <laughs> you all know I like my coffee. Anyway, um, it started out where I had heard a bunch of horror stories. Um, and so I felt, uh, I felt a pull, you know, to, to do something about that. I, I hate, I hate bullies, right? I, I, I always have, I'm a tiny little guy, y'all know I'm, I'm a little failure, and growing up a little failure, you get bullied a little. Well, you get bullied a lot or a little, depending on how you react to it, right? You know, I unfortunately didn't have a choice but to learn to fight back, you know, um, and so because of that, because I was always the smallest guy that had to do the biggest load to, you know, to be accepted, growing up that way has, I guess, kind of geared me to where I truly do hate bullies. I hate bullying, and I hate any situation where it seems like someone is, you know, is trying to bully me or anyone else. And uh, so that... I guess is what is what drew me out, you know, uh, drew me out from under my rock here at home and and out with a camera, um, and and you guys got to know a bit about me, you know, and Ironton of course, and as we learned, we found that things may not be exactly the way we thought they were in the beginning, right, and and so we go through all oh, these three, uh, well, we coming up on four years now. Um, of Ironton Auditor, and I hope you guys understand that I loved so much being out there spending time with you guys live in the chat. It's it's never been about that. You guys are a riot, um, and some of the most some of the most wonderful people that I have ever met and known in my entire life. And I thank you all so much for being there and taking every ride and all the ones that you did. It was great. Um, but as far as being an Ironton Auditor, I have to admit most of that was no fun whatsoever. You know what I mean? The interaction with you was great. But the channel itself, the you know, Ironton Auditor, it was there was not much fun involved. You know, most of that was was uh, uh running around doing nothing, trying to find cop lights, you know, and this this is all my time off camera, not not my live runs, y'all were with me to see what happened there, and that was usually a whole lot of nothing, right? Um, you know, but any time that I spent being Ironton Auditor off camera was all about um, having conversation, right? And and reaching out, and getting paperwork. Uh, uh, we've gotten body cam footage, you know, you guys know we've, we, we've dug a little, We, you know. Um, there are other... Uh, other things requested and reviewed and looked at and you know I, I went through quite a few things you know um, none of that <laughs> I have to admit was any fun for me I, I never enjoyed such things I don't want to be you know I never wanted to be like a fucking investigator or you know what I mean I, 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 I never really wanted any of that and I'm glad that there aren't you know I'm glad this isn't a place where there are tons of people who need that here right I'm happy, so, you know, um, but as far as the interaction with you all, that was, that was where it was at for me, that was the enjoyment that I had, and as of late in life, it has become more expensive to maintain that, and, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'll be honest with you, my channel didn't make money, right, it, it started out that way, and then YouTube decided that, uh, that my videos could not be fully 
monetized, and it's not that I was demonetized, so it's not they took everything away, but I went from making what, you know, normal ad revenue at those subscriptions down to, you know, I think the last time that I got anything from uh, uh, YouTube, it was running like $4 or $5 a month, you know, like $4.37 you know, was my ad revenue because my, my videos are not open for all subs or all advertisers, however it says that. The other YouTubers will know what I'm talking about, so. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and I'm not complaining. It's not, I ain't bitching about money. I'm just saying the problem is that it's cost me so much to do it. You know, I have to pay extra in order to have a lot of things, and I don't want to run down that line. And I'm not asking you to pay, and I never did, right? So I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to say, oh, woe is me or anything. I just uh, wanted to share with you guys why I won't be driving around town so much live, right? Because there's just too much. There's too much wear and tear. Hell, even my car has 238,000 miles on it right now. So, you know, and I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't know how long that'll last. You know, we we sure put a lot on it. So, um, if I can find a, you know, a way. If I can find some, you know, some subject matter to talk with y'all about or to bring to you something that I could do, I would do that. But I have to be honest, I don't know what to do. So I think that from time to time I may do what I'm doing now. I'll just kind of drop in a line to say hi and, and, and uh, you know, talk about things. You know, may, maybe give you my viewpoints, you know, um, um, life uh, as, as Ironton Auditor sees it, you know, which is probably going to be probably going to be much different um, than anybody else out there I usually am my my ideas and my uh, my thought patterns are probably a little unique among many um, that doesn't make me I hope <laughs> that doesn't make me strange but you know when I do this it's not so that I'm not looking for everybody out there to agree with me right I, I expect people to disagree I have no problems with that at all. However, if we have a disagreement, it should not, there should not be any anger or hatred there, right? The reason is because you and I are, are adults and we're perfectly capable of controlling our emotions, or should be, right? So we should be able to have a difference of opinion. And even though it could get heated and passionate, right, it should still be done without anger and violence every time. Right, I, I think everybody agrees to that, but the problem is, is most most disagreements turn into a debate, which you know generally is generally just erodes into an all-out argument, which sometimes causes fights that never end. Right? Um, don't do that, guys. Don't don't do that. You, you know, when when I first started as Ironton Auditor, I come out with kind of an attitude and and. You know, I didn't, I didn't try to show that, right? Uh, because I wanted them to draw it. I wanted them to go ahead and be an asshole just one fucking time and let me unleash, but they didn't, right? And, and I beg you to do the same thing. Be reserved. Don't, uh, don't assume that you know so much how something's going to go that you you act badly first, right? Because if you Look, guys, learn to see both sides. You know, learn to sit a little more on the fence and not lean so far left and right so that you can see both sides, right? If you get too far off the off the fence, you're, you're, you're not going to see the other side anymore, right? You're going to be too far gone one way or the other, you know? Um, I hope that makes sense. You know, you get, everybody's got to get back to middle ground and middle road. We all know what it means to be moral. So let's quit fucking pretending in the world that there is no morality or there is no right and wrong. Somebody needs slapped in the mouth when they say that. And they would learn right from wrong. You know, this is all just silly stuff. It's silly kid stuff. It's, it's like everybody grew up, but they're acting like a bunch of uh, grade school and middle school kids arguing about dumb shit. I mean, just plain dumb shit. Look at look at TV. Look at the news. Look at politics. Dumb shit that should never be. And yet, here it is. And my heart, 
my heart goes out to each and every one of you because I know where you are, right? I understand how all this works. <clears throat> the problem is I'm not sure that you do. I'm not sure that you all realize the seriousness of what's really happening, that, that you think it's just no big deal and, and that the next generation will take care of it. Well, I don't think so. You know, we, we, we are the last ones. We're the, you know, the, you guys out there that are my age, you guys know that everybody else younger than us doesn't always know. There, there, there's a few of those in-between generations, you know, uh, the Gen Zs who grew up with the Gen X, or you know what I mean, they were a little different, but but not many, right? And and we're believe it or not, we're a dying generation, and our ideals are going with us, and freedom is going to go with us. Can't you see it? It's already gone. You just haven't opened your eyes yet. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please realize that it starts with us we the people we the people strong and free and united in the idea of freedom and the ideals which make it possible for all of us right because with us we all belong right don't matter who you are don't matter which state you're from or what part of it or what county no one gives a damn it's not about that it starts here at home, making us better. That starts with each individual. But you have to want it. And then you have to try to make it. Because if you don't, you see it won't get done. You see what's happening, right? All right, guys. I'll quit bitching for the moment. Um, I hope that I'm reaching some hearts, though. I hope I hope that you guys are listening. I hope your eyes are opening. You know, I, I hope something stirs within you. Uh, and I hope your awareness is enlarged because there's so much slipping by. I just don't want it to slip by you. All right, thanks for being here, guys. I love each and every one of you. Y'all have a great night out there. Up just to buy some milk Breathing heavy in this foggy silk Can't see the chains but they're wrapped tight Blinded by the darkness in the light Down the aisles like a faceless ghost Forgetting freedom matters most can't hear the screams, the covered cries A world so silent, but full of lies We need to unify, this is our time Our different threats create the climb Don't let the fear break us apart Together strong, we'll Is taken its toll. Don't let the cloth divide our streets. The heart of men is where we meet. These threats ain't chains, don't be deceived. Our bond's stronger than we believed. Stop letting fear take the wheel in unity. One so shout from wicked voice In our hearts let freedom reign Only truth can break these chains